Hello friends, in this video tutorial, I will provide you a summary of the article that I shared with you in the earlier video. As you can recall from our first video on introduction and steps involved in the machine learning, the first crucial step is creating our data set. This particular article used in public data set that is already hosted on this website. It is archives of ics.uci.edu. Here, if I search diabetes, then this particular data set, early stage diabetes risk prediction data set. This is the data set that is used in the article. So, I will download the data set. It would be downloaded in a zip format. I will have to extract it extract all click on extract it would show the data set for the simplicity i have kept a copy of this data set onto the desktop you can also find other types of data sets on this website but for this section i will be using diabetes prediction data set that i downloaded just now so after downloading the data set if we go to our the workflow this is the experimental setup. Once we provide the input data set, we will pre-process it. In pre-processing, we are only using one feature that is normalization. Normalization means we categorize the data in between 0 to 1. Then we use stratified tenfold cross-validation. We will talk about it in detail later on. Then we will use certain machine learning algorithms namely neural network, random forest, KNN, SVM, new bias, adaboost. And ultimately using these algorithms, we will create a model and we will analyze these models by creating confusion matrix that includes accuracy, precision, recall and F1 score. So to talk about certain properties of this data set that we just downloaded, so this data set contains information about newly diabetic or in the process of being diagnosed. There are total 520 instances classified by 16 attributes which are diabetes related and used as features and one class attribute that specifies if the subject is diagnosed as positive or negative. So after downloading the data and visualizing it, the next step is to clean the data and to pre-process it. In this particular article, they only pre-processed it by using normalization to interval. This means the parameters of the every category would lie between 0 to 1. Another important step in data cleaning is data imputation method. These are generally used when certain parts of the data is missing. In this article, data imputation methods are not used. The first thing that they generated from the data set is information gain. It is used to reduce a bias towards multi-valued attributes by taking the number and size of branches into account when choosing an attribute. The article suggests that three most relevant features for this data set are polyuria, polydipsia and gender. We can also confirm the same by looking at the information ratio provided by these three features. Here the article summarizes the dataset attributes. So as mentioned earlier, there are 16 types of attributes that are being used to diagnose if a particular case is positive or negative for the diabetes. So these 16 attributes would be of type feature and as we can see in the 17th row, there is a class that is positive or negative for diabetes. Its type would be target. So as can be seen in the experimental setup, the next step is stratified 10-fold cross-validation. So what is k-fold cross-validation? It is a data resampling procedure. It is used to evaluate machine learning models on a limited data sample. The data set is divided into k partitions or the fold and then iterated over each fold using it to test the model and the remaining k-1 portions for training. 
the k results from the fold can then be averaged or otherwise combined to produce a single estimation using this method the whole data set is used for both training and validation which will produce a more accurate result after using k fold cross validation the next step is to select the machine learning algorithm as we have seen there are six different types of algorithm have been used in this particular article i won't go into detail of each and every one of these type of algorithm since talking about these types of algorithms in detail is out of scope for this course i request you if you are interested in learning more about these you can have a brief idea from this article and later on read the relevant articles so after creating the models the next step would be to analyze the matrices so we will analyze the different models created using area under curve classification accuracy precision recall or sensitivity specificity and f1 score if you don't know about these you can read from this article there are formulas given for each and every one of the matrices next we see the confusion matrix for different types of machine learning algorithm for example here it is confusion matrix for naive bias classification the next is confusion matrix for neural network classification after that for adaboost classification knn classification random forest classification and svm classification the next table shows the results of classification algorithm here all the different types of model created by machine learning algorithm shows how many correctly classified and how how many percentage of misclassified data set was present the next table describes the performance matrices of different types of model created using machine learning algorithms this summarizes our article i request you to go through it once now we will try to replicate this particular article and create our own models using the data set that we downloaded earlier that's all for this video